Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's review some of the common shapes that we've seen so far. We've seen the square, the rectangle, the parallelogram, the trapezoid, the rhombus, the triangle, and I threw in the right triangle to see how that stacks up with a non-defined triangle where the three sides are all different, and then we have the circle. Now in each case we're going to show the equation for the perimeter and the area. For the square, the perimeter is 4 times the side, and the area is the side squared. For rectangle, the perimeter is twice the length plus twice the width. For the area, it's the length times the width. For a parallelogram, the perimeter is twice the short side plus twice the long side. For the area, it's the base times the height, which means the area of the long side, or I should say the length of the long side, times the height. For the trapezoid, the perimeter is simply the sum of the four sides, so it would be small b plus big b. Small b is used for the small side, big b is used for the big side, where the sides are opposite and parallel to one another. S1 and S2 are the two sides that are not parallel to one another, so it's simply the sum of all four sides for the perimeter. The area is one half the average length of big b and small b, that would be one half b plus b, that's the average length, times the height for the area. And coming over here, we have the rhombus. The perimeter of the rhombus is four times the side, and the area would be one half the product of the two diagonals, P and Q. On the triangle, the perimeter is simply the sum of the three sides, and the area is one half the base times the height. In this case, the base is the flat side, that's at the bottom of the triangle. In this case, that's C times the height, H. For the right triangle, the equations are just the same. The perimeter is a plus b plus c, simply the sum of the sides, but for the area, notice that the height here is equal to the short side a, which is perpendicular to the bottom side here called b. So one half the base times the height becomes one half b times a. And finally the circle, the perimeter is 2 pi r, and the area is pi r squared. For a circle again, all you need to know is simply the radius. So that's a nice little overview. We'll now continue in the series to look at some other geometric shapes and figures.